Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 25, Football Manager 20. This is home on the range. Rovers are for screen save. We have signed Ferrand Rawson, our 25-year-old star center back, to a new three-year deal. And, yep, three years. He wouldn't take four. It's at $525,000 a year, which is a $300,000 a year increase for him. Uh, but he wanted over six, and I just couldn't. This was the max I could do. So I had to pay him a little bit more, like in loyalty bonuses and appearance fees. So uh, that's going to cut into us a little bit. But he is uh, he is by far our best defender, uh, playing a 7.19 this year, two goals, three assists and uh, does very well. 87% passing, 90% tackling in the league, 100% uh, tackling, 83% passing in the FA Cup in two matches. So doing really well. He's only 25 years old, so we certainly need to keep him around. Uh, taking a look at our last transfers just from a few minutes ago. Uh, so we got rid of Connor O'Malley, Tunji Akinola, and Lucas Talbro go out on loan. And we sign Alex Palmer and Marin Lejubic. And taking a look at our scores since, uh, since then, uh, where did we leave off? Chelsea and Middlesbrough, I believe. So we had a 1-0 clean sheet, and that was Palmer's debut. So clean sheet in his debut. Uh, Inna Bakari with the goal. Hull, a 3-2 victory. Uh, they had a player sent off, and Nathan McGinley scored the game winner in the 85th minute. Preston, we beat 4-0, another clean sheet for Palmer. Ida McGinley, Kennedy, and Harvey White with a penalty uh, in the later stages of the game for the win. Sheffield United, another clean sheet, 3-0. Palmer, really looking good. Kai Kennedy with two goals, uh, Inna Bakari with another goal. And then our winning streak came to an end. Uh, Petersburg beat us. Harvey White with the goal, Blackett and Jade Jones with the goals for Petersburg. Um, just got away from us. So we're back for Fulham and Cardiff today. And we are going with Ida up top, Kennedy and Collins on the wings, White and Inna Bakari in the mid. Adams at the base, Wharton, McGinley, Rawson, and Ball across the back line. And Palmer, our new guy in goal. Taking a look at him, uh, again, he's a 25-year-old Englishman. Uh, pretty solid ratings all around. I really like his eccentricity is real low. Uh, first touch could be a little bit better, uh, but he can actually play uh, that sweeper-keeper role. Uh, in a defend if we want him to uh, and he's really good even anticipation and everything certainly not top of the championship or premier league worthy but i think he's real good he's got some room to grow he's only you know he's only two and a half star and we do have a really decent uh backup goalkeeper now and tia we moved down to the u23s so he can get uh, plenty of playing time down there and hopefully continue his development down there. I'm hoping to give Lejubic uh, a couple of games uh, outside of the cup. We'll see uh, if there's some games that we feel that we can really handle. And uh, that way he can get on the pitch as well. But we will see. So your first look at Palmer today. Hopefully he does not disappoint. Sessignon, nice tackle, but can't take advantage of it. Did Sessignon play for Tottenham at one point? In I'm thinking that's, I'm thinking I saw his name on the Tottenham uh, documentary. Over the top to Kennedy, he can't find it, but Ida runs onto it and puts it in. His 15th goal of the season. Let's give him some encouragement after that. Don't need to see the replay. So hopefully by the time you see this one, you'll have uh, 
you know, I'm trying to shorten the episodes a little bit. Uh, what a ball in by Harvey White. Nathan McGinley with a header from inside the box, puts it at the back post, and his third goal of the season, that was a beautiful goal. Just sat in between two defenders, went up, got his head on it, and we are dominating the game here in the early going. Still only the 13th minute. There is a lot of time to play. So let's give him some praise. Adams is overwhelmed. Adams is in the last year of his contract, and he's, he's our starter at defensive mid. I think I'm going to let him go unless we don't make it out of the championship. Oh, that was brutal. Come on. Crossed in. Just cannot take advantage of that. Unless I know we're going to be back in the championship this year, he can certainly do the job here. But if we go up to the Premier, I think that's an area we're going to have to seriously improve because he's only three-star. Oh, knocked away, but I think there's a penalty there. And it is. Harvey White's going to take that penalty and look to give us a three-goal advantage. Oh, it saved Dawson with the save. I jinxed it, I think, by just assuming it would be 3 nil. Oh, that's harsh. He's usually unstoppable. Out wide the ball. All right, there's a save. White's looking. He is seeking out the net. A lot of highlights here. Collins goes goalward, tipped over, and that'll set up another set piece from the opposite side. McGinley, wrong way. No, oh, we've got a little counter opportunity here. Kamano skins was first guy. Ball makes the tackle to knock it away. All right, let's uh, let's give him some more praise because they are playing well. We we're dominating possession. Three clear cut chances. Twenty to seven shots. Thirteen to two on target. Certainly cannot ask for much more than that. Uh, White. White's still playing a seven and a half, even with the missed penalty. That's insane. <laughs> Usually a missed penalty tanks your rating. I'd really like to get another goal here. But I want to pull. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Uh, let's bring Kitching on. Collins is having a really bad day. Wow. Let's bring on uh, a dozy. Might be his debut. I don't remember. No, he's played a few matches. Not enough for me to remember him, evidently. All right, let's uh, get creative. And this is actually fine. I don't mind the no highlights if we're in control. All right, who? Dominic Ball, right back. Let's bring uh, Richie Reese on on that side. He is, he's left-footed. Scott Wharton's left-footed. He's left only. So let's let Wharton be the one playing out of position. I think that might be a little bit better call. With the two goal advantage, I did not tell my goalkeeper to slow the pace. That was not a good ball. Oh, beat him in the box. There's a save by Palmer. Final minutes of the game and Palmer makes an appearance. All right, headed down. Ida's got the ball into the zone. Into the box, beats his man. What a finish by Ida. His 16th of the season, second of the game. And that should seal the victory for us with about three minutes to play. A 
no no card there, so that's good. All right, that went wide of the mark, but he knocked it away. Better safe than sorry. And that should be their final shot on goal. We can run the clock here. Blow the whistle, please. Easy out of the backfield. Rishi up across the line. Sessegnon. I want to look at him after the match, see who he played for. Maybe it's from Fulham that I remember the name, but I'm... Come on, just blow the freaking whistle. No, just with Fulham. So that must be where, I, where I've heard the name. I think there's somebody with a similar sounding name with Tottenham, or there was. Maybe I'm imagining it. <laughs> Maybe I'm imagining it. I did, uh, in fact, I think it was a football manager first for me, a player that I didn't know personally from Leeds that I have signed in a football manager save popped up on a highlight the other, uh, yesterday uh, with Hull City, Liz Mousset. And I said, hey, I know that guy. <laughs> he was really good for Leeds United in my save. Uh, so that was like my, my football manager first. So a historic 3-0 victory over Fulham. Ida, let's give him some praise on that. And a review of the Carabao Cup. We'll be back. Uh, let's take a look at the competition real quick. We're sitting third. Only one goal behind Southampton for automatic promotion. Two points behind Bristol City. And if we take a look at stages, uh, we are actually in pretty good form compared to both of those sides. Watford making a good run. Still a log jam right there in the top six. But we have opened up a 10-point gap over Blackburn in seventh position, falling out of the playoff race. So we'll be right back for Cardiff. See you guys in a second. Well, some good news. We have become an established SkyBet League One team. Um, they wanted that done five years uh, from now. Um, but we're in the championship. So, yeah, not, not sure what that means. <laughs> little behind the times here, football manager. Uh, I got a little bit of a bonus uh, uh, for avoiding relegation. So we have already avoided relegation. I have a contract offer out to a young player uh, that hopefully comes to pass. Uh, a couple of young player in the running. We made, we lost uh, 300000 this month, a little over a million in expenditures. Uh, the higher salaries uh, cut into that. So uh, we do lose a little bit of money. Board has us on an A+. Plus. Dynamics still look really good. And I'm looking at some young players. All right, well, we'll remove him now. And Trafford is a goalkeeper. We will put him on. Yeah, we'll do all that. I'm looking at some of these younger players that I'm starting. Uh, I think it's a 17-year-old that we uh, have made an offer out to. Uh, trying to start building up our, our youth system. Again, it's, it's okay, that was weird. So... The SI guys announced a release for Epics or something like that. And the new update was this morning. So there was a hot fix right before I, I turned the game on. Uh, so this is with the hot fix in place. And that's the first time I have ever had that happen. So not sure what the deal is but I will be heading over to the SI forums as soon as I finish recording this to make a post about it uh, all right we are favorites Palmer's in the goal again Cardiff sits where 
All right, Cardiff's pretty high, so I want my number one keeper. So, yeah, we're going to go that route. I think I need to move Trafford off of here, too, into the into the youth team, the U23s. Maybe, uh, see what he can do. All right, let's get creative, please. White on an early yellow. Early control of possession, shots. Mm, having a little trouble with with uh, targeting the goal. Collins gets there, back into the box. There was a hard header right at Smithies. Smithies, probably a butchered pronunciation there, but let's demand a little more. All right, we've got a corner. I couldn't see him. He blends into the pitch. <laughs> There's a header that goes wide of the mark. Oh, we're controlling this game. I just think we're getting done in. Oh, that was two headers in the box. Collins must have been offside. Yep, there's the there's the note down there at the bottom. But even if he hadn't been, there would have been a big save right there by Smithies. We've got some yellow cards to deal with. Get over yourself. All right, let's check the tactic here. We're controlling possession, so let's go ahead and try to work the ball into the box some more. See if that gives us some better shot opportunities. Nice ball up to Collins. Laid back into Adams. Adams is not playing far enough away from White to really give good passing space. Kennedy, poor finish. I'm trying to eat my, my lemon pies in the bag. Push forward. All right, they're frustrated by that. Oh, let's see. All right, Dominic Ball for Shepard. Let's bring Tite on. Get out of my bag, man. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Oh, punched away. Get out the bag, man. I swear to God. <laughs> All right, head it away. Get it. Oh, what are you doing? Pounce, man. Oh, he should have tipped that ball away. Let's ask for some more creativity. All right, there's Tite. We don't see a lot of him. Into white. Collins out to Wharton. He takes a ping. What a finish. His first goal of the season, and it's a huge one. My God, now he's in the trash can. It's not even 5.30. He can't be complaining about feeding time. My goodness. All right, uh, let's do a couple of things. Center backs are doing fine. I'm going to drop... I'm gonna drop yeah, I'm gonna drop Collins to the Kai Kennedy spot. And then Kennedy, we're gonna bring Hunter on. Now Hunter is right only, and he's right. So they're on the right sides for that. Let's do that. All right, nice ball up to TT. Kennedy. Reverses field. Collins in some space. Can't clear it over the defender. We've got a counter opportunity. Oh, we should have been all over that ball. There were three of us there. Come on, boys. Taken away. Ida. Ida. Oh, my God. He dinks it off the post. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? All right, slow the pace down, please. May not matter at this point, but oh my goodness. How, how did he miss that goal? That was very disappointing. Very disappointing. 
Still, it was a good game against a tough opponent. We are still third in the table. Wharton with a good game, a really good defense. Let's tell him that. All right, so competition-wise, we are still in third. Geez, Southampton must have destroyed somebody. 4-0 over Rotherham because they just opened up a gap on us in goals. We're still even, still two back, so all three of those teams won. We're now five up on Watford. Watford got a draw, so we gained two more points there, so we've opened up a little bit of a gap. But boy, you know that third position is unlucky as hell. You know, in real life, nobody that's finished in third position has ever advanced out of the championship. I don't think that changed last year, but I know the year before because Leeds got eliminated by Derby in the playoffs in the second leg, and we were and Leeds was the third position team, and they were talking about that that no championship side had ever advanced through the playoffs from third position. So hopefully that is not coded into the game, but who knows. All right, guys. Well, we are near the end of the season. We have avoided relegation. Uh, so let's come back. I think I have to play Leeds because we skipped them earlier in the year, right? So we'll be back for Southampton. They're in front of us. That's going to be a big match. We'll do Leeds. And then we will either come back for Luton just to end the season. We come back for the playoffs. And we just skip the last four, go right into the playoffs. Um, if it looks like we've got a shot for automatic promotion, we'll do, we'll do, you know, we may do Rotherham and Luton if we have a shot at automatic promotion. Uh, we'll see. So, but Southampton and Leeds next. Hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Thank you so much for hanging out. See you guys next time. Bye.